Sagittarius. I'm your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, July 24th to Sunday, July 30th. All right, Sagittarius, now what I got going on for you is a major new beginning, okay? And this new beginning for you is going to be in something new and exciting in your life that you're doing. Some kind of adventure, travel, study, something along those lines, okay? Because this new moon, which happened on Sunday at the very beginning of this week, is in your ninth house of travel and adventure and new things, okay? And I think there's going to be something there that you're going to want to do and begin fast in a really big way to move you forward, okay? While that's going on, I also think that you're thinking a lot about this new beginning, about this new thing, trying to make sense of it and put it in the right perspective. And I think there are some opportunities there to get some major insights about this new thing and even some unexpected things as well that might come up too that I think do look pretty good for you, okay? Now those unexpected things that come up are going to have to be about something that make you happy and that you like and enjoy because um, the Mercury here in your ninth at the very end of Leo is going to be making a trine over here to Uranus in your fifth house of happiness. So I think you're trying to get insights on how you can do some new or different thing to just be happy, to bring more joy into your life in some way, or there's some unexpected things about what it is that makes you happy, that you like, that you're then trying to figure out how you can take that thing and maneuver it into something new or different you can do, okay? Once that new beginning comes and you start to feel a lot of that, I think it's then going to require you to make some choices about your life and about what it is that you want uh, and what you want want or need to commit to okay that's because we do have venus right here for you which is in your seventh house of partnerships and other people opposing saturn this week in your first house of your identity and things like that okay so i think what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out what kind of relationships you value um what kind of people in your life and just the people in general and your commitments that you have especially with other people that are important to you which people can help you be the person you want to be can help you make some commitments you need to make to yourself to do things that you want to do in some way and you either have to compromise okay about what people and what people want um, or what or the kind of relationships that you have or you need to get a better balance going between yourself and other people here okay I think you need to figure that out and once you figure all of that stuff out I think it's gonna be a lot easier for you to do something that it is that makes you happy big opportunities coming in here for that and to really do something new and different and exciting that you want to do okay um, so I think that's gonna be a big part of it you may still feel a little uncomfortable about your home life feeling like your home life isn't stable or secure or that something very core to your being keeps changing in some way but I think you really need to get over that insecurity we're starting to move past that we're starting to move forward I don't think that should be as big of an issue perhaps as it has been um, that kind of thing and I don't think you need to pay as much attention to it um, in some way because I don't want it to stop you from doing some of these other cool new things to make you happy uh, and all that stuff kind of moving forward all right i think you're also this week we're gonna have to make some sense of some big ways that your life has changed okay so that you can kind of step into this new beginning and move forward uh, in a big way that's because we have pluto here in your second house of money all right and of finances uh, and of confidence in a square with jupiter all right and jupiter is in your 11th house of your goals all right, so I think there's been a lot of changes in your financial situation, all right, and the kind of income, the money that you have also, and perhaps your confidence, maybe your confidence has been shaken a little bit, and some gifts and talents and skills that you have and that you use, all right, in in the world or something like that. And I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out how you can take all these changes that have come to you in regards to your income, in regards to these skills that you have, things that you can offer the world that no one else can, and I think you gotta figure out how you can integrate those changes into your future into some goals, into some dreams that you have about your life, about where you always wanted your life to go and the person that you wanted to be. And I think this week you're really trying to finally get some good things out of these changes that you have been waiting to get for a while, okay? So that's going on. On top of that, we've got Mercury at the middle of the week moving here in your 10th house of career. So I think you're also doing a lot of thinking here um, about career, about where your life is going, about how you can increase your social standing in some way as it is that you're maneuvering some of these things, making some of these changes, choices, making sense of things, okay? So that's what I see for you. Just a little bit of a reminder, you're still going to have to be a little patient with things this week, all right? You're still going to have to wait 
for things to fall into place that especially is going to be about your home life and what makes you happy. Maybe you don't feel like you can be happy in a really solid and stable way or maybe you feel like the home life you have isn't really resonating with you yet, isn't really bringing more joy into your life. I think you just got to wait a little bit for that. It can happen. All right, you just gotta wait. Um, and then the same thing here when it comes to your career and reaching your goals. You wanna move forward in your goals, you got big goals for your future, who you wanna be, and I think you're just starting to communicate about it and to think about those things in the right way, and you have to wait a little bit for some of these things to fall in place for you to really feel like you're thinking about your career and your goals in the right way and that they're working together uh, and really positively, okay? So that's what I see for you this week. Now, your card for the week, is the Queen of Cups reversed. What this means to me uh, is perhaps there's internally, emotionally, you're feeling a little uncomfortable, you're not feeling happy in some way. Could also be your emotions getting a little out of hand here um, going on and I think what you need to do is you need to take some time out this week and you need to take a break to get right with yourself, to figure out what's going on inside, to pay attention to your emotions, okay? And to really become a master uh, of them in some way so that it is that you can be more comfortable with this life, with where your life is going, and not let your feelings get the best of you, okay? And not let subconscious stuff come up to the surface either, all right? So I think that's what's going on this week. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you liked it, please like it on Facebook, like it on YouTube, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.